Okay, so one of the questions we get asked a lot, um, I've created a saved search in IDX Broker, or I have a page on my WordPress site that I want to point a new subdomain to. Say um, you have the subdomain retsmls.com and you want to you have on your website this search, this is a, a saved search in uh, IDX Broker, and we have a video that shows how to how to do those save searches. So he's got this save search, it's Toronto Homes for Sale. So we come back over here, we're at our RETS MLS site, and I'll hit the subdomains. And let's call this one Toronto Homes. Okay, by default this is going to want to create a new directory. You can do that if you want to. I don't, because then I get too many directories, and I don't know if it's got something important or not. So. I'll back it out of that. Uh, create. Okay, so the new domain has been created. It's actually a subdomain. New subdomain's been created. Uh, yeah, you can see it's not redirected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manage this redirection. And I'm going to pop in that address, that I Toronto Homes for Sale uh, it's a save search from IDX Broker. Okay, that, that looks wrong. But that whatever that said was wrong. But it's I can see the redirection is working correctly. Or it's set up correctly anyway. So we'll go over here. We'll hit Toronto Homes .retz MLS. Well, my page wasn't found. I guess I have to give it some time to, to load up. But anyway, within about 20-30 uh, minutes, this will actually start working, and uh, or may take you an hour or two on your computer, on your server, and uh, then it'll just redirect you to that. Then you can put this on your business cards or on wherever you want. That's setting up a custom subdomain redirect.